A banger to start the night. Cannot wait. Oh, it is us already. Stock so of the first blood. And that was just a lurker, essentially, right? Look, look at the minimap. Four players coming towards B. They already have a huge advantage. The opponents don't know what exactly is happening because there was a sky in front of Shower, so they thought it's not going to be a lurker. Because why would that make any sense? Right. What if you're not? In the meantime, they rather pass the position and go over the teleporter. Ascend is having none of that what has happened over on the B side as all the utility has been thrown towards the entrances. Bone Cold is a little surprised. Every single bit is already open and ready for business. And like I said, he's got to be somewhat careful. He's denying Kyle's any further vision within the site, but Bone Cold and his boys just gotta lock down the site, and as they do so, they just move away. They still got the molly to make a change, but stop. So the man's on a hunt, and he's trying to find his prey. The quad is already belonging to Sky, and the man's not stopping at all. A bit of the head has been seen, and Fry knows how to react to that, but it's not gonna be an easy one. That retake should be successful at the end of the day, and it is. I'm guessing they're gonna just wait for Stark so now to go to them and use that ult to support the explosive. Execute, but there you go. Go. from mid, okay. Ooh, and that's good stuff from Otom. The man has been on fire so far, but it's not enough at the moment. I see oh, he's still oh, hitting oh, it right here through the box. That's exactly what you need to eat for, and that is where Rays can flourish. But individual performance, nothing of the abilities. This is the quality that comes in from such a player. And once more, it seems like that might be just a retake absolutely tonight. The snake bite, it might have been nerfed slightly. It doesn't change the matter of fact that it's still damn lethal. But Vicky again. Boy is on it, finds a double. Retake might be still in it. And Starks are playing over there on elbow. Three opponents that just come around the corner any second soon. And Fry got it, and here comes round number one. Well, plant and triple boxes, but instead they now kind of just force themselves on B. Yeah, and as you see, there's coming the ult in. Fry's just swinging wide. Seen reckless work fine. And this leads us to a round that once more seems to go all in favor for left. the side of Ricks. But as I say that, Ascent got one viable tool to themselves, and that's Kyle's. Obviously, we're talking about the Viper's Pit, where you will just not be able to see a goddamn thing. And you also have a big issue with all the poison coming around. Kyle's is absolutely using it. Go as far. This is risky. This is dangerous. Oh and his ult is somewhat gone. I mean, not necessarily understanding the decision making it, but it's not down to me. It's down to Latex. He's finding it and brings it home. The back and forth again and again and again. You know, I, I kind of understand Killy's uh, reaction here. <laughs> Great mind games. But man, they, they do look sharp on this attack. Like, and seen it, even though he's not playing the jet, left. Spike down. he is pretty sharp as well. He still has the first aim. Now they are in a, in a, a bit of an awkward spot, pinched between all the players. And they get dismantled. But, you know, this was the lower buy for them, so. Yo, yeah. well, you should be quite good, quite experienced at telling good night stories, right? <laughs> hey, I have a daughter. Don't misunderstand See? me. <laughs> well, nevertheless, Latex is coming in and he's putting those boys to sleep. Double that's coming in from his side, no real issues at all. As Seek is trying to take a bit more ground, Ascend seems to already collapse early on in the round. Bone Cold is just fast and swift, but Fry's waiting, but not long enough. This puts us down to nothing else than a three versus two, or is it? Well, it still is. No worries for Bone Cold. He's gone fast and swift enough. And this leads to a spike most definitely hitting the ground. It's two versus three, but uh, Brimson is low on HP. There's information gathered in Hooker. One player is being blinded as well, but he did turn around. Ah, he gets to do that anyway. Now it's 1v3. Very small chances for Bongo to do anything. Yeah, no, no real chances. It should be, technically speaking. Okay. But as okay. we're talking about that, Ascend still have sent their IGL on the battlefield. But Finn is ice cold most of the times, but can't hit against his counterpart. Getting a kill first. And this is where they keep Luzzard. Spike down. All silent in Hookah, not making a single noise. Obviously, this is where they feel like they can swing over in that position. The revive's gonna come in. Full force is back on Ascend. And the risk might be high. Same goes for Mickey. Starks a little double. That's brilliant work. But Otom knows how to counter that. And this is a situation where it's once where it has a somewhat weak defense. Trying to swing around. Otom can't capitalize on it. The wall is absolutely gonna deny it. 
It sends spike planted, sending it down. Flank's just gonna finish it. And Rick's most likely won't take this home, except we're gonna see one exceptional performance. Nope, it's not happening. For a second, it looked like we might just go back to track movie mode. But we're back to a tie. Frey. Mm -hmm. Well, they're on a small disadvantage, but Latex might get a little bit of a taste of his own medicine. That Brimson Ultimate might be able to use for that, unless they go for the bottom oh. lineups. That's so unfortunate. He wasn't should have had that with ease, or at least that would have seemed like, but sometimes those One individual mistakes happen. Latex is still on it, and it seems like there shouldn't be too much of a chance for Stark, so, but it could have been also his show now, starting swinging together. That could have been it. That could be just it coming in soon, oh, but they know where they are. It's still on it, but not enough. Six to five, and at that point in time, I think we both agree. Because we'll discover some people, and maybe because of that, we're gonna see a Grimson oh, ultimate very fast. That still works, that's incredible. He's pretty much running into the Seekers, but Seek, the man with a very similar name, is still striking, but not with Luzzer. Man's keeping on, but Stark, so as he swings, he's finding Luzzer. It still needs to be that ult that should be just eliminated. Kyle's is about to check oh, the time it. The time's on it. Oh! Right with what a flick. He seems to save it for now, but only for now. As he's smart enough to not peek at the same position twice. Knows that it could come over long, but he's not making a single step. Not a single bit of noise that comes out of Killjoy in this situation. Once he's swinging back, once he's starting to march over on B, he might just have to surprise momentum. Because once more, they need to be cautious left. about B long. He could just swing there any second soon, but they don't check it. That is his time to come over Hookah. He most definitely does as he sneaks over Teleporter with Latex. And the surprise momentum is somewhere what gone in this case but the smokes are still there this means we have the opportunity to deny him that slower will not just allow him to get out of there easily latex and fry is are just having one hell of a task ahead of him hercules like you could pretty much say and so latex fakes it nobody's swinging this is a professional game one they don't do remaining. this that easily and as seen that is obviously the aim machine on sage it's the best combination of utility support and absolute opening. Well, yes, he does, but it's his own teammate poison Smoke, up. the Poison Cloud, that is blocking his own vision. That could have been definitely a spike that does not hit the concrete. It's still there's a retake that's on, and as you mentioned, it's a quite decent opportunity for them, but Cena says, you know what, I don't care, I'm just going for it, a big issue it is, because suddenly it's going to be all the Nano Swarms coming in. Latex is still on, it doesn't hit his shots according to plan, but Luzzer is there to fight, and obviously we know... When we talk about a jet and this little pistol, it might just work well. Oh, Cole is sticking! Did he make it? He, he made it. it! And this obviously leads to the seven. No, the no, pistol no, no, no. works! Yep. All setups like this coming from a sense for sure. Absolutely. I mean, they, they start to really love that agent. Pals is pretty proper on it. Stark, so is most definitely having a problem, but he's getting healed in the meantime. The double is coming in. Patience is key. We should have learned that. It's a virtue Five to be accurate, down. but running out of bullets, One that's a little unfortunate. Remaining. Doesn't change the matter. In fact, that Ascend are in the driver's seat for now. Obviously, and they win. More likely to be mid, seems to be his option. There's a Molly that's now landing on sight, and Bolt Code is aware that's all coming towards him. Stark, so... Oh, he's actually flashing himself, but Luzzer is even more blind, and this is causing Otom and Code to collapse. Perfect usage of Sky as a duelist, as you said. And as he's swinging wild, acting like it might be just a Western movie, he's definitely having again guns blazing. Latex continues to keep up the fight, though, but Rick's most definitely should not stand a chance with this. They probably have something along the lines of 120 HP on both players. Now make it 20, 12 to be accurate. Fry, he had it in the end. But they still will meet a full three defenders on the day, and Zeke yeah, just gets a free kill on Autumn, who is just running out with his hand out. Oh, he keeps on. Man's not to be stopped now. The blade storm has been heard. At least CNET falls, and the killing machine from Turkey beheaded by the small, tiny blades. It doesn't change the matter of fact that they still don't have full control over sight. And as Luzzer continues, well, it seems to be his show, but Kyles knows when to stop it. No more for them, and that means late tax all on his own. An orbital to strike and a sheriff in hand. It's not an easy one. It has to be one of those clutch scenarios where the entire team is pretty much shouting at you and the team for being such a beast. Uncold. Uh-oh. He's holding them with a showstopper. 
Oh, he's hit! Oh, 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 oh. oh, absolutely perfect stuff, and it seems like the anti-aircraft missiles from Seek are actually hitting target. No chance to survive here as Jet, and this one's what puts them in the driver's seat, specifically with shots like that. Only three remain. Pals is moving away, and Lockdown has been destroyed as well, but it doesn't change, change the matter of fact that Ricks are only down to two. The problems start to rise, left. and this means as Mickey tries to gain a bit of information, a bit of control, it's not a magic flank. Not, none of that is happening. It's just one single and sole killjoy trying to come around. That is Fry losing his duel, and that brings us down to a one versus three. Seems impossible, most likely is impossible. Ten seconds left. And a joyous ascent is going to be happy to find the prey. Mm -hmm. And they didn't need to use and force, uh, like, clump up their forces on the other side, uh, since that, uh, that that is just the power of the Viper Spit. Viper in general is a fantastic agent to push the people from the opponent's team in the other direction. Throw of Uka, and that because of that, now we have three players on a spike down a. and he gets the that gets the kill. Like that just is horrible outcome for Rick's G. And and that's the thing, Rix is just seemingly slow as hard as it sounds when they are just an attacker. Same thing or something similar at least happened against the Lions. And once more we see they're just in a driver's seat or ascend. Don't count out Oton yet. Doubles on him. This guy is definitely A. fighting. Bone Cold can come down from his pedestal in time. Ascend. And his advantage. Stark's almost definitely capable of turning such things around. Doesn't mean that he automatically is always one to do so. As I say, it finds one. And Spike has now been delivered on a silver platter, bringing them a good opportunity to once more make this a very clear haul at this point. Oh, 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 he hits Luzzer that way, and that's an absolutely nasty shot coming out of Sky, bringing it only down to Mickey, and this needs to be one hell of a performance coming out of the Polish man as he goes over elbow, takes a wider approach, definitely has an advantage with his Hunter's Fury, but this does not grant him the win. As he comes around and moves, definitely could be helpful, but as we see, he hears all the steps, flanks in, and he's sneaking. He keeps on sneaking, finds the first, and comes in with his ult? No, he's fainted it, and he doesn't no. find it! What? True. But when it comes to Riggs G, they played this map so far in the, the qualifiers three times. But well, let's just focus on this execute because he did that uh -oh. through to God. Hands already in. Now, well, as you see right there on the mini map, Ascent is pretty much on. It found a triple with ease. They even have to open up the door for each other. And right now to get the intel yet. So Sky needs to rotate, use the Tasmanian Tiger or something. Oh, but that's Luzu with the big opening kill. And now they have a little bit more info of what is happening in the beat. But that was so smart because he was just peeking when that info dart came in. Bit confusion all over the Ascent site but they just might start with a sprint. And that sprint comes in swift and fast. Over to mid they go, finding Otom. Yes, indeed. And this is opening up the A side. As they continue to move swiftly and fast, they might just get denied. Yeah, we know that snake bite is a little shorter than usual, but they say, which position is free? We're gonna take it. Over to B they go. The door might just be closed. Nope, not even happening. That thing has been shot open in the meanwhile. But Luzzer could be the hero here from the side of Rick's. Ain't happening. This spike is hitting the ground. The mud's to be precise. As all of it is going to be splashing around. It seems like plant might just work perfectly for them. They opened up a bit of B, a bit of A. Over mid they went. And now enjoy that retake, Rick's. Because most likely... They just add insult to injury at this point, as there's no real opportunity to spot off bother. It's just becoming more painful for the side of the timing. But the timing's on. Bone call falls. And so they just seem to be aware that someone might be flanking. Yeah, Mickey knows. And if they just get the player on side, they just might do it. But Kiles is actually surviving. Fry will still try. And the spike has just been tapped once. Seek swinging, but patience is key. He's making it work. Smart and intelligent. He finds that round. Room. That side of Rix is taken in front of B already. Recently, the change they made is obviously swapping Astra and Omen around. One of the best ones, of course, considering the meta we're in. And Latex, his flank might be rewarded soon. Uh, he's gonna get checked. Oh, Achilles with a beautiful white peak. Now he's gonna get supported by Bone Cold. No, they want to like, kinda use it down a little bit on, on the tempo. They still on a disadvantage. Three versus four. They have the better guns, right? So they don't want to leave this post. Because they know that Rook's GG can just pick it, pick up two rifles for free. So either they have to move them away Johnson, from that spot or fight for it. And since they're gonna fight for it, that's good. Right. That's good. It's gonna get all oh, comboed so by smart. the fault line and the hunter's kill. What a play! My God! I mean, it looked like they might just have their 
backs against the wall, but that has been outstanding team performance. You saw it! They opened up with a double kill of a marshal and a sheriff. Seems like the Wild West combination with the deputy and his mate coming in, but no chance at all. They still fall, and Stark so is gonna swing, find it. Uh -oh. Feet another ult's gonna come in. Brilliant stuff. CNET knows how to hold W, but with a proper skill indeed. Fry is gonna fall down as well. Nothing is working here for Riggs. They collapse entirely. All their pillows off defense seem to be crumbling, and that is just fightable. I mean, Lofar, this is one of the most enjoyable, one-sided games I've seen in a while. We're just in the first half, in the first few rounds. But this is domination so far for a second. It is. It's 5v2. I feel like Riggs G have to save those rifles because the, okay. the chance at success in this round is not high. Like, what do you do? Well, you can't really do much. You have paranoia, but now you're also... Oh, okay, it wasn't that. They don't have the info, but now they still try Run to hunt them down. They, they know. Oh, Stress cost me to fight. Dividing the angles and allowing them to just go into a 100% peak left. instead of a 50 50. Beautiful play. Yeah. And what is Mickey supposed to do? They just leave him back here, Sark, so back in mid. And scanning all the info needed. Yeah. Knows. Okay, there's two. That's quite valuable. Twice. Yeah, he absolutely got twice, but and still alive. He's not worried, not at all, but Snake Bite should finally get him out of this is no it's not hit him! Man still hitting shots. It's absolutely crazy. At that point in time, how much more unfortunate scenarios are you asking for, Rix? It's just not that bad as a proper term. At that point in time, you you definitely want to keep up a streak. As I say that, Zeke can't capitalize on the double, but at least one has been granted. Weakening slightly the B side defense, specifically as we saw Omen fall down in this one. As he's going belly up, obviously you're unfortunate to have no more actual smokes left. I mean, surely you have Viper, don't get me wrong, you also have Jet, a little clouds, but it's not the same. Let's put it that way. But what is the same is obviously an operator shot. That brings Starks it out. Three versus four. This is looking pretty good for XG. Uh, they have uh, all the advantages now, and they still have the Hunters here available. There's the info needed! Such a powerful Dark sky flash. It's insane. How big of a change was that for yeah, sky? Yeah, Like the patch, they just enabled her. The duelist and now uh, Frey with the easiest kill. Shooting CNET in his ear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. no. Oh, you gotta hit those. And that's where it becomes a little complicated. Pure pool. Oh, that's, that's harsh. That's absolutely harsh. One cold. <laughs> The, the thing is, right right here, Lofar, a quick look at the ults tell us what kind of power they ascend ults bring, right? This is this is absolutely mm -hmm. insane what they have. And so, it, it's something where you say, you know what, this round has to be absolutely there. So we're going to see, though. Oh. Well, that's the equalizer. And the Seekers now will no give some information. Oh. And the Fury being enabled by ascend. Doesn't really give them much, but open out of the space standing. on A and then just explode right there. Without even using the rolling thunder. Well, they still have that, right? This is, this is the scary part at that point. Yeah. They can, they can keep it for another round, basically. Oh, okay. Except Fry starts to get a little out of hand, but nope. That ain't happening, and so... If we're gonna see the same kind of execute for Ascend when it's rolling from there, but it seems to be favoring B, and they even get the first blood. Volta being placed. Killjoy locked down. He's gonna get destroyed, so that's one thing. Yep. But that oh. did get the Hunter's Fury out, which is nice for them. Now they're gonna go Look towards A and probably go for that rolling from there, right? Yeah, but... Or maybe oh. even not even. It's 5v3. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, look at Latex position. He didn't come in in time. It felt for a second like he might have just... Wraps around top mid and gets one or two off guard, which could gain a lot of attention, but that didn't happen. Not at all. Another round where the spike's down, another round where all the extremities are absolutely under control. And at this point in time, you would be very happy to have such a Hunter's Fury. It's just not available anymore. It has been baited out. It worked exactly with what they had, and Rix once more struggling big time. It absolutely seems... Like, there's no opportunity for them, and they're just in a world of trouble. In a, in a realm of grief, choose the word, say whatever you want. It could just the latex, make it all the brighter place. The clouds are getting thicker, it's getting darker. And, well, it seems like the forecast... Yeah, uh, I guess he wanted to play... 
uh, against the Sova counterpart. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Orin's a good is a good gun. I'm telling you. Sure, absolutely. I think Mitch has been Nature girl down. putting out that propaganda for a while now. But you're, you're right. A good wall penetration. A lot of bullets. Suppressing fire. If the list goes on. It looks cool. Last Maybe you're from a standing. Rambo movie. But yeah, talking about Rambo, it feels very much like have Amalgam Ascent that go over to the defense. A smart move by CNET, but that actually gave it away. Unfortunate for him, but RixGG finally seemed to get a little bit of fresh air over here in the second half. A new canvas to paint on, and a fresh opportunity to once more prevail and show that this is their map pick. This is the way they want to actually obtain a proper victory. The lower bracket won't be comfortable, I can tell you that, but for now, it's just about the victory and the pistol as Ascend keep on fighting and they keep on striking. Starkso has still a bit of information and once they continue to push over on the site, that information is more than valuable. Puts it in, first one out, and now this gives them a lot of information. Three players found, but they still can't find the frags, or can they? Seeks on it, and the Polish man continues to fight just underneath. There's the Viper smoke last that might just make the difference. Price swings, one last enemy. Man standing finds one, and that is obviously the round that could belong to the Brit, and it does finally. But they no. still have to like try hard and win this round. Yeah, they have to. That's a good point, though. Amateur. They have to doesn't mean that they will. Absolute disaster for Lover. As it seems to continue for a sense, still they need to prevail in that sense. As both Polk remains on the side, but it seems like he started his shooting practice. The quad comes in, and it seems like the Finn stays ice cold. Not cold enough, though, for Mickey. As he still remains alive. Definitely an individual to watch out for. Doesn't hit his initial shots. And can't. The economy just works differently, and it's, yeah. it's, in my opinion, a very healthy change. Yeah, it is. I fully agree. I, I'm so with you, but. Well, I guess we could do pretty much a full-on podcast about that. In the meantime, Fry is Last trying to use standing. his all to make a change. He's seen that in the meantime. Oh, that is an awkward duel. But of course. Point, everything point. And uh, it seems like Griggs GG are on a brink of being knocked down to the lower bracket. Unless they wake up. But it's a four Spectres. CNET is a little intimidated to make that push. He knows that there's one still back around the corner. But the way that they scare them. It's just insane. It's it's horrible. And they seem to be fraught with problems at this point. No real issue for Ascent. They continue up their streak. Two more remain. The streak goes on. And that is pretty much a great summary of this game. Seems like the first half of Bind was the only real competition we unfortunately see. 